All right, so what needs to happen here? We need to start integrating this into the game, All right? Okay, so we got that, so let's recheck everything out. It's taken quite a long time for this thing to actually crunch the heat maps, but you know, that's not the worst thing ever. So services, definitions, we'll check that out too. All right, we'll also need our game data probably and whatever else, but whatever. All right, so they're checked out. We should be able to run the editor and start taking a look at what we need to actually do to get our UI working in the current game. I think I'll also, like, I should go through the current missions, check them out, and um, export all the data so that we have all of our basic um, tiers and the rest set up properly for this thing. Oh yeah, that's another thing I should do, is I should remove the music from the intro level. And I should probably fix the bug with the black screen on startup. Let's go to that first level. Yeah, it's this, uh, let's clear these two.
So what are we calling for this guy? Is it set viewpoint? All right, so it's in viewpoint. So I think what I need to do is go to the arena level and add a begin play on this thing. So for the initial setup, basically we're going to have a function here which is going to do setup viewpoint. So let's make a new variable which is going to be initial viewpoint. Okay, so we need to call activate viewpoint direct and like this. And we'll do that inside of our begin play.
Should be simple enough. All right, well, I think that'll set our viewpoint and all that sort of stuff up properly. So what do we need to work on now? I need to set up these missions so that they have data that I can use. So let's do curse status 20, curse duration is 15.5, ranked condition is time, best stat, I guess we should have 20 and 20, best stat is going to be 15 and 15. So that's our objective. Yeah, so that's our three new stats that we've got. So let's go to export our missions. And if we actually hit play, our best is 15 and 15 seconds, which is what it's supposed to be, right? The best stat is 15 and 15. Let's set these to 25 and 25. So 25 and 25, let me see, was that the pre-mission pre screen? Why well, we got a flash of nothingness going on there? Yeah, we've got stuff there that shouldn't be. Just going to remove all the things we don't need. Start to continue. All right, so the results for the stage were, we don't know. Um, basically, we got diamond tier because there was nothing else going on so the result was diamond there is a next thing 
So result was diamond, seconds zero, seconds twenty. Is that a new record? What do we have for post mission screen? Yeah, it's greater than or equal to, so we should say um, another utils here for this guy, which is is reversed, is lower stat better for condition. All right, so for, for this, it's gonna be losses, um, own goals, losses in row. Let's see, win loss, lowers better, not true. So we should have that. Let's see if I reload my page. It should take me there, and it's good to go. So that was score the goals, avoid the bots. The result is diamond tier. So why didn't we have it? Um, the mission completion should have stage completion. We should have one stage in here, which is like stage one. Tier of that is gonna let's just put it at bronze. All right, so we stop that and export. Good evening, Carcan. Just back working on mission stuff. All right, so we've got one bronze here is what it's showing. One bronze led to bronze. Stage one was bronze, seconds zero. And it's a new record. We finished stage one, hooray. You can see our 
text is too big there for that guy. Well, things are going alright. Yeah, sample mission 9 over here. Yeah, so this post mission screen text is... This, this header text is not correct. So post stage header text. Enter text, uh, font size is supposed to be 8, mission margin left is this. This guy needs to be, header text is that, mission is 40 vmin, and stage is 40 vmin, so the problem is these guys are like that, so we should do this like text align center, overflow, hidden, and our font size should be like 7 or something. Or 6 or something. And then we'll need... To, yeah, it's getting clipped out. So spacer, maybe we should have a 5. And this should be 42.5 and 42.5. Your game busted my thumb. You demand a refund. <laughs> no refunds. Didn't you? Didn't you hear that? Didn't you hear that? No refunds. Ever. This spacer can go. I think. Well, maybe it needs to be something smaller. What's our margin left? Like that's 44 and 44. All right, so we're going to need just some padding top is what it looks like. Let's see, margin top, how about two? That looks all right. That looks better. Hello, Synchron. I am just uh, working on the mission stuff again. I need to tell Adam to check in that cursor. Okay, so Meadow Crest 1, Stage 1. We got Diamond on that guy. and uh, But we've marked it down as Bronze, so we got Bronze there. The objectives haven't been... We haven't done anything with those guys, I guess, yet. A 
Let me check for our objectives. Completed, ranked, best condition, objectives. Yeah, okay, so these are in progress. So if we do success or we do fail on that guy, let's see what happens. And actually we can do the same thing for the stage, right? So we have the objectives. Let's just do success and a fail. got the cursor or not. I don't see any check-ins from Adam, so I'm guessing not, so maybe a little reminder. Let's see. So, Jeff is nerve shoot the ball. I thought I set those guys. Okay, so those guys worked, but the other ones didn't. Did I not? Did I not export the mission? Let's see, gameplay. Probably didn't fucking save it. <laughs> that doesn't fucking go there. Are those dot cursor files? Like, what are those? I can't read that shit. Yeah, he doesn't have a. It's a dot cur file. Does he have just like the worst memory? Or is he just not going to do it because of reasons? Let's see, where even is the cursor that he wants? Like, we have pointer, but those pointers aren't the right pointers.
Yeah, we'll see if we can get him to get all this stuff working. Well, my stream doesn't have uh, even like video quality settings on it right now, so I'm just not that popular. It's hard to communicate with him. <laughs> it just really is. He doesn't read chat. And he doesn't... Well, don't put the fucking... Don't put the PNG inside the fucking content folder. It's where you assets go, man. Jesus. Put that in the fucking art folder. Yeah, this is this is how Adam deals with problems. He just checks shit in and makes it somebody else's problem. It's kind of one of those things. If he's not going to do it, he should just say, "I'm going to do it later" instead of doing a shit job. That's that's how I think. So let's see if I beat this one, do I at least get those stages set properly? Alright, so the stage stuff looks like it's working now. Um, that looks good. Uh, and then these guys are working, so is the stage. Alright, so it looks like all the bits of data are working properly. So he actually just overwrote the curve file and the. All right. See, I get it, but at the same time, it's kind of frustrating. Like, the PNG shouldn't be here, the control, yeah, like, did, did he just make a fucking U asset? Like, no, it looks like... It looks like Unreal automatically made a U yeah, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass, I really wish he'd just fucking follow instructions. Anyway, let's just close that. Yeah, so this one's like super big and is like totally fucked up in tons of ways, so that's not what we want at all. So let's compare these cursors. This guy is... Uh, 
This guy is 64 by 64, this guy is 64 by 64. Uh, but the other side's got all sorts of screwed up. Alright, so what this should actually be in is this should be inside of the art folder because it's art, so it should go inside of the sync uh, UI, just like right there. Yeah, that's where it should be. Is Brazilio Sync running? I'll just make sure that gets updated. It's like I get it, I get it, but if you're not going to do it, don't do it. I'd rather have somebody fail to do a task than do it partially. Alright, hotspots. Alright, download cursor. Yes, that looks correct. Yes, yeah, so it looks a lot better. And I bet he's going to check in that U asset that gets created as soon as he does. Good. And that's going to just be there and I'll have to go remove it later. Alright, so we got those. That's showing up wrong. So what is that going off of? It's going after has next to be true or false. So...
So um, let's see, we want for our stage, if I refresh, where does this go? Yeah, it goes right back here. Okay, so supposedly it does work. So our has next for our stage is supposed to it's supposed to be false. Um so the question is, is it actually false inside of our game data folder? Looks like has next isn't getting put in here, so that's going to be what's going on. inside of our stage is it inside of our game objects um, so this is inside of game stage um, has next is supposed to default to false but it's not for some reason So we'll just uh, get those set up. So we should be able to go to our stage and add our data. So new stage set stage number stage uh, stage number all right 
let's build that. All right. I'm trying to think about uh, what we should do for a few things. Think about these objectives and how we want them to be marked true or false. Well, we should just get the right data working first, and then we should worry about the rest. Let's see, the heat maps are still chugging along. So when it's doing ball position, it looks like ball position is the very last one, so that heat map should be done shortly. Alright, so if we export these missions and I go play it, you should see what I need to see. Where in the hell is the has next? Has next is definitely false. 
So why is this messed up? Stage number zero has next falls. All right. Post mission. No. Post screen. Post stage screen. You bought perfume toilet paper in an accident? What? Well, I guess you'll figure that out pretty quick. And hopefully you're not allergic to anything in that perfume. That would be an unfortunate thing to discover. As next is true. As next was true. How is that possible? Yeah, well, that's that's fortunate not to be allergic to things. Let's see, get current stage, get stage user stats, get current stage. All right, it's being sent because of a bug, which is fine. That is what we want. All right. <laughs> So let's see. Still chugging along on those ball position things for that caverns level. Well, there's a lot of telemetry data there. I, mean, I don't think you were around for that Caracan, but I was. I had to go fix a telemetry system because we blew everything out yesterday with a bunch of data. I think the bots did that. Yeah, pretty sure the bots are the cause of all that. Because these guys are still just in here playing, and they're going to be doing that forever. Mm. 
And so that guy is just stuck, is what it looks like. Like, he's, he's actually just stuck in the air. So... Good, good farming for everybody. So that's that's actually like where he is then. Like he's actually just in the air and unable to move. So because he can hit me when he's doing that. He can't hit me more than once though. So, I can end the match on him and switch the map, and that should reset him. Because you'd assume the player reset would have um, moved his location back to where it should be, but obviously that's not the case. So, something with basically you can't... The guy's position got stuck where he is. But it's not like a network bug. That, that guy is literally just stuck there on the server, so that's just what has happened. <laughs> 